Hello everyone, this is Lam. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you a swipe that I did recently. And if you have seen some of my other videos, you know that I pretty much suck at swipes. <laughs> and but this time I am using a different mix for my swipe color. So let's see what happens. Okay, you see all the colors that I use plus my black base. They are mixed with my usual pouring medium, which is one part Mod Podge, two part Frotro, and a little bit of GAC 800. I have used this pouring medium mix from day one, from the first time I pour. And I don't know what made me come up with this, except that, you know, I just, I just decided to use Mod Podge because I like Mod Podge better than Elmer's Groove. I don't know, but it's been working for me all this time. And Heather and I talked about it, and she thinks this this mix is really good for keeping colors separate so that they don't all mush together and become mud. And that's one of the reason I think that most of my pores end up pretty vibrant and not too muddy but it is not good for swipes because this mix doesn't create lacings very easily so what I'm doing here is that I am doing the colors in keeping the blue and the red you know the pink separate and then I'm going to put the swipe color on top of it and the swipe color is a uh, black also but it's not the same black as the base it is amsterdam black and i know amsterdam is really good for making lacing but i'm not a big fan of mixing paint with just water without any medium so i'm mixing this amsterdam with some golden's self-leveling gel and don't ask me why i use self-leveling gel I just have some laying around that I haven't used it much, so decided to try it. So here I swipe, and voila, look at that. Usually in my swipe, I don't get this many cell actions. So this is good news. It actually works. Okay, so adding a little bit more black and swipe again all right you see this is quite consistent i mean in my past my swipe is always hit and miss sometimes it gets sell sometimes it doesn't but this time it actually gets consistent lacing so that so that is really good i'm happy with it all right so let's tilt that out oh add a little bit more tilted i am liking all the cells and all the colors that came out it turns out the pink and the and the blue they gradient quite nicely now it's time for torching and also thinking because if you know me i am not one to just swipe and call it done even though this one has come out with such beautiful lacings and i'm quite happy with it but you know me i always like to mess with things and so what can I do to it? Uh huh. Let's see. Okay, the natural thing to do is to make flowers. So let's get out some metallic white. So I always have some white or metallic white in handy, just for flower making purposes. So drizzle other colors on it. really is a 
kind of a repetitive process. Okay, I'm adding some liquid gold here. I don't know if you can see it. And if you haven't seen my other video, liquid gold is a solvent base uh, paint that is very gold. I mean, it looks like gold leaves. But again, warning, be very careful using it because it's solvent base is highly toxic. The fumes are noxious. So make sure you wear a respirator or some kind of protective mask that can block out organic gas. Okay. But you see the, the effect of the liquid gold? It adds such beautiful accents to the flower. Yeah, look at that, especially in the middle of the flower, this I always like to add a a little touch of gold to it, like that. <laughs> yeah, to me, it's like both eye. Okay, what do you think? I like this flower. Okay, time to do some leaves. Okay, I'm adding, s I didn't mix any green, so I just use turquoise and blue as green leaves. It sort of works. Now, liquid gold. See, I haven't done it this way before. This is a new try for me. Making gold leaves. I mean, literal gold leaves with liquid gold. Swipe them and it works. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Look at that. Okay, one done. I'm going to make another flower, of course. I don't know how many flowers I'm going to make for this one. Probably not too many, because I don't want to disturb too much of the lacings. Again, it's the same process, just drizzling colors on the white. Now, on a colorful and dark background like this, the white is very important. Okay, more liquid gold and more white, because I want more white than color for the flowers. Just want the colors to be accents and just kind of outlined to the petals, but white is the main color. Okay, so look at that. Oh my gosh, I like this one. Okay, maybe add a little bit there, a little bit more gold. A cotton ball. Yes, oh, look at that. You know, once in a while you get a flower that is just perfect from the making. And you don't need to do too much to it. Like, like just like this, I'm done. And, and I absolutely love this one. Okay, so maybe, maybe one more flower because three is an interesting number because compositionally, you know, we, we don't, you know, uh, compositionally, even numbers is usually not as good as odd numbers. So two is, may not be as good as three. It's just a general rule. So. So whenever I can, I like to do three flowers. So this one, I want it to be smaller because I want variety of, mm, of sizes. Okay, cotton ball, dip, dip, dip. <laughs> Yeah, this one didn't come out quite as nice as the last one. Oh well, c'est la vie. Just have to mess with it some more. Okay, yeah. More of the standard procedure of adding color, adding white, adding liquid gold, and dip.
Yeah, I use my fingers a lot because it's a useful tool. Our hands are useful and powerful. And my day job is a massage therapist, so I rely on my hands. And I would say my hands are pretty darn handy. <laughs> okay, now. Now, what I'm doing is dipping my bamboo stick in liquid gold and then drawing out the leaves. So this way, I can get finer lines than using a swipe strip. And it comes out nice. And you see, you get a little swipe effect you do get a little bit of lacing on the leaves. Okay, now, grand view of the whole painting. I'm looking for places that I can doctor up a little bit with more gold leaves. Yes, a little bit here and there. And the bamboo stick is very useful for this. The do those hard to get to places, tight corners. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, those are pretty fine lines, but you can make it thicker. And I'm so obsessed with this liquid gold these days, because look at it. You can add eye-catching accents to your painting just like this, you know, really easily and really fast. But then, of course, you have to put up with toxic films. So that's a catch-22. And... So I would say use it sparingly and make sure you have the right protective gear. Okay, now I am done with flowers, but what more to do? Now, to be honest, if I stop right here, I wouldn't be too sorry for it. But then, knowing me, I like to mess with things. And I mean, the Composition is nice but kind of unbalanced because all the weight is on the right side. The right side is heavier than the left side, which doesn't sit well with me. And I don't want to add more leaves. There are enough leaves. But I want to add a little bit of something to the left, like there. So, <laughs> what do you know? I decided to make a butterfly. And I have no idea what to, you know, how to make a butterfly with liquid gold. So I am just, you know, trying my best to make it kind of shaped like a butterfly. But you know, the liquid gold is a little bit unpre unpredictable because it's a new medium. I mean, still new to me that I'm trying to work with it. But it's shaping up a little bit. I mean, after all, this is abstract art. It doesn't have to be too detailed. I just need to keep myself from, you know, overdoing it and really mess it up. And so far, you know, this shape... Uh, it is okay. I mean, I wouldn't say it is great, but it it works. It looks to me like a butterfly. I may add, yes, I decide to add the back wings to it. Yeah, so it all kind of branded in together, but yeah, you get the idea. I mean, our brain really feels in a lot of the story. So 
when they glance at a painting and they see a shape of a butterfly, and they would think it's a butterfly, with even without all the details. So I think it works. So here, it is, <laughs> the whole painting. I think it's done. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little bit of touch up. Tiny things. But on the whole, I really like it. Turned out nice. I think this is my first successful swipe. So let's look at the close up. Look at all the pretty colors and the gold leaves. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of the gold leaves. Actually, I'm proud of everything in this painting. Especially this flower in the middle. <laughs> and I'll show you the dry result in a moment. Here it is. I think it dried quite beautifully. And the gold details become more pronounced because it's sunk into the paint and I think it just looks good. So this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.